Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another recap of Tyler Perry Sisters Season 5, Episode 10, Discretion is Key. So basically, Andy and Danny, they're still at the jail with Sabrina. Um, Andy's outside still talking to the prosecutor that she represented years ago. And Danny's inside talking to Sabrina, trying to give her some encouraging words to uplift her spirits. And Sabrina's still thinking, like, how are they going to get her out of here? Did they get a chance to talk to Maurice? They also told her that they had an informant gave um, her some... Gave them the information. That's how she got into it. And Danny also told her, you know, Logan, the guy, he was investigating you. That's how that guy happened. So, after that... Sorry about that. After that, um, Danny still keeps trying to reassure her. And she also told Sabrina that Calvin put up $20,000 for her bail. And Sabrina was like... Yeah, that's good because that means, you know, he know that she ain't do what she did. Obviously, we all know that Sabrina didn't do what she did. But whatever. You know what I don't understand is why nobody's telling her the name Q. That way, Danny could put it together. Like, come on now. Y'all not making it click. But whatever the case may be, Andy rushes into the room and she tells Danny to... Yeah, Andy tells Danny to pack up her stuff and then they gotta hurry up and get out the room. Basically rushing to get her out. And Sabrina's still trying to make sense of it all and telling them, don't leave me here. Like, don't leave me. Like, and they just leave. And then they take the security come back in to take Sabrina to her, her, her cell, whatever. Then we have Karen and Aaron. Um, basically, Aaron made herself spaghetti and garlic bread. She was happy that that was good. And she was like, I didn't know you could cook so well with all the takeout you do. Which is surprisingly, all you ever see them eat was um Chinese food, right? And he actually made herself spaghetti and garlic bread. Mm. So she gives him back his phone. And they start talking. And she was like, I apologize. You know, she ain't find nothing. She ain't, yeah. So basically, like, he's too good to be true. And she, he asked her, no, she was like, um, she was asked, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, he was asking if the, when's the girl's gonna come by? And she checked her phone. Come to find out the girls are on their way to her. So he was like, he's gonna go ahead and do the dishes. That way he can get out the hair, probably go to the gym. And play some ball or, or go, go to the gym or play some ball. And then Karen asked, well, do you sp still play ball with Zach? And he was like, um, he's not there. He's there from time to time. So he asked, was you okay with that? Was she okay with that? He, she was like, um, I guess I'm going to have to. And then she also lets him know that she's going to the doctor so that she can put their estimates together to see when the time of conception is. And she also let him know that, listen, um, was he also asked to go with her, but she was like, nah. And she was like, you know, out of all these times and sits, whatever the case would be, I can never stay mad at you. And he was like, when were you ever mad at me? She was like, the hospital, duh. He was like, yeah, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So eventually they got over that patch. Next thing you know, um... Miss Lisa texts um, Aaron's phone as he's picking up the dishes to go wash them. And he like, listen, you better answer your phone. It's your mama. <laughs> she was like, oh my God, I'm going to tie this woman. So he takes the dishes and go. She talks to her mother on the phone. And she, I guess some way or another, Miss Lisa asks, was Aaron there? And she was like, yeah, he's here. So we're going to see what happens next. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, Andy and Danny are riding around because after they left the 
jail. They had to leave, so they riding around. Um, and they start talking about. Andy tells Danny, like, listen, we had to leave out of there because of the prosecutor. And he kind of feels some type of way because, <laughs> yeah, he's going to try to use that against Sabrina. And Danny was like, well, what about Robin? And she was like, listen, Robin, <laughs> he ain't feeling so nice for nice me either. So it was like, Andy really know how to pick up, like, <laughs> tuh, 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 tuh. So basically, everything is just moving at a fast pace, and they don't know how to like really put their hands around it and grasp the idea that Sabrina might really be in there for a long time. But they try not to make it be as if she's in there for a long time. So with all the information that Danny's receiving, she needs to clear her mind and her her her, her headspace right now. So she wanted to go to a weed man. And Andy was like, no, we're not going to no we facility. And Danny had to put in her place like, listen, don't try to act brand new <laughs> like you ain't never smoked a weed before. Like, listen. And Andy was like, listen, I don't buy. I just get it from you from time to time. So Danny was like, listen, just keep your eyes on the road. And Danny was like, tend to, tend to. So then Andy, Danny pulls out these gummies and was like, I'm going to just eat this. I'm going to just eat this for you. And Andy was like, no, I did not want one. Danny was like, listen, I said I'm going to eat one for you. She's like, oh, yeah, go, go, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. All right, so, yeah. Ooh, so we finally see Tima and Zach. Oh, my God, she is killing this orange suit. Like, sis is looking like a whole snack. And then, so, okay. So, basically, she's sitting on the couch. And then walks Zach. And Fatima tells Zach that they need to talk. And he, she starts telling him, telling him, like, listen, we need to talk about this engagement. And let it be known that she wants us to just basically put it on halt for right now. Because now that she's seen that Heather and Hayden are in cahoots, she, she, she don't know how to feel about that. So basically, she just lets them know that, listen, you about to be sued. They might come for you for everything you got. Because we talk about Hayden now. He had to doubt for Zach for every which way reason. All because he messed with Fatima. Like, listen, let it go. Let that hurt go, little boy. Let it go. But anyways... And Zach basically, like, listen, he tells her, like, thank you for being here for me through everything. Baby mama drama, the money, the house, everything. Just thankful to have you in my presence. And she was like, yeah, mm-hmm, because it's a lot what you got going on. And I'm going to ride with you to the wheels fall off. And she, <laughs> Zach said, why you always try to spare hate it? And he was, she was like, so you won't call your cousin? She he was like, who is this lady? Like, who is she? And she was like, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Like, listen, we we going to figure this out. Make sure you have all your ducks in a row because when they come for you, you, you good. Like, like, it's just, I don't know. And supposedly after they had their little talk or whatever the case may be, they're supposed to be actually going out to eat. And next thing you know, like, Zach's like, you smell that? And she was like, smell what? Nothing. <laughs> Get in there and cook it. Where the food at? Like, of all the times, you remember all those times in the other seasons that Fatima was going to cook for this man and he would never say he hungry. The one time she ain't cook, he hungry. Mm-hmm. Because they're actually supposed to go out to eat, but that ain't happened. So he, after they had their little conclusion, they talked or whatever. He puts his feet up with his shoes still on, on the on the table. And Fatima looked like and he was like, Oh, let me go take my shoes. I was like, Yeah, that's right. So he put his feet back up. She walked away. He was like, I hate to see you leave, but I love to watch you walk away. And she was like, Mm-hmm, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we get back to Karen's house. Aaron's still there. He I guess she done cleaned up the kitchen and whatnot. And the knock on the door was just the girl. So they um Karen hugs Aaron, and they leave. Well, he leaves. 
excuse me, and Andy, and I don't know, what's the point of them knocking if they have a key? I never really understood that. You realize how every one of them knock and they open the door with the key? Wouldn't you just text them like, listen, I'm about to open your door. Like, does that even make sense at, at, at all? Like, come on now. It don't. It don't in my mind. So, basically, the girls come in, and Aaron leaves, like I said. Um, Danny gives him a hug, uh, a fake hug, whatever the case may be, and they leave. And Andy and Danny go sit on the couch, and Karen was like, I thought I was going to be all of y'all. Where's Sabrina? I'm about to go call her. And Andy was like, no, nah, don't worry about that. So, next thing you know, Danny just blurts out, like, listen, Sabrina's in jail. Like, y'all got to stop beating around the bush. Y'all grown woman. Just let the girl know, like, pregnant at all. Your girl, your girl locked up, okay? Just let her know, okay? And Karen was like, what? Yeah. Just let it be, let it be known. Like, I really want them to hurry up, free Sabrina, free Maurice. Like, get Q back in there. Locks and chains. Don't let them go. Like, come on now, madam. I'm going to need you to handle Gary. I'm going to need you to handle Hayden ASAP and Heather. Mm-hmm. And Q for me, please. Where you at, madam? Oh, and Deja. But, you know, she might be under the radar right now because she know how you roll. And she know you, you mean what you mean. Like, don't, don't play about your business and you don't play about your family. So she might be cordial, okay? So we might not have to worry about her too much, okay? But, madam, where you at, though? Handle these. Handle these, please. Please. Come on now. But you know what I also think? If, even though that the DNA test says that, hold on. Sorry about that. So even though the DNA test says that Zach is the father, I wondered if they tampered with it to make it be Zach's baby. Does that even come to mind? Because I know now that I'm thinking about it, now that we've seen Heather face-to-face -face with Hayden, it probably wouldn't make sense. Like, that's a way to get Zach off his A-game and Hayden come for him for everything he got. Hmm. Just a thought, but yeah. Okay, so Andy finally tells Karen why Sabrina was locked up. Basically, Danny was like, she's like not letting it up. Like, she's not letting it up. She gonna tell it like it is, and she don't care how you feel about it. Like, Andy is like, baby steps. Hey, Danny is just straight to it. Like, listen, this is what this is. This is what this is. This is what this is. And that's just what it is. So, they finally understand, Karen finally understands that, that she was arrested for the robbery. And it, Karen said the same thing Danny said. She not built for jail. You see Sabrina, she don't like she built for jail either. So Danny was like, this is the same thing I said. So Karen finally tells them that she's going to her doctor's appointment. And she wants them to come with her. And they're going to finally see what's the date of conception. So they can figure out whether it's Zach's baby or Aaron's baby. But from... Looking back and look and now, I kind of feel like it's Zach's baby. Kind of like what Fatima said, like, he got two baby mamas, and that's just what it is. So, after that, Andy gets a phone call. It's Robin. Danny went full mother mode on her. Like, listen, this is not about you. This is about trying to get Sabrina out of jail. Answer that phone. Talk to that man and see what's going to happen. So, Andy steps outside to take the phone call. And Robin wants to, like, talk to her. And he said he's going to try to help get her friend out. And Andy was like, listen, I don't try. The prosecutor, he's trying to come for me because I... Yeah, so the prosecutor's, try, the prosecutor's trying to come for her because of how she did him back when he was married and whatever. So Robin was like, listen, I can talk to his boss. So... Basically, Robert's still trying to apologize to her about how he treated her. He said he was sorry, but she's still not coming for it. She's still not budging for it. 
And he was, she was like, just tell my friend, just tell my friend. So he was like, is this a start? You can see a little smirk on his face. Like he thought he was in the good. She was like, listen, just tell my friend. Um, I have another, I have another line coming through. So yeah, he was like, I'll let you know when I hear any more information. And that was that. So next day, no, who's on the other line? Mr. Scary Gary with the Mandingo. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, you know, as soon as she's like, Gary was like, listen, I can't take it anymore. I got to come see you. She all smiley, giddy, 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 like, oh, Gary. <laughs> like, so basically, long story short, when she get home in the hour, he supposed to be there. Birthday suit style. Okay. Yeah. She about to have some fun tonight. After she got the phone call with him, she goes back in there to Karen. Okay. So, after Gary gets off the phone with Andy while he's at the um courts, he sees Zach and Aaron. And he's talking to Aaron saying he's about to go. He got a date. And Aaron asks, who, who is she? Who is she? And Zach, Gary was like, don't worry about that. So he leaves and he say, Hi, hey, Zach. And Zach is like, no, no, Gary, no. And he's like, well, bye, Zach. No, Gary, no. Like, then you see Aaron talk, talks to Zach. And Zach tells him, like, listen, this is a no stress, no stress zone. Like, I don't got time for this. I don't know if his sweat is, um, shirt is a... Red or orange, but he is killing that color. Like him, him and Fatima have some good color schemes that are gorgeous on their skin tone. Like, oh my gosh, he was looking fine. Like, oh my god. So basically, he's getting ready to put his stuff out so he can play. Next thing you know, up walks Hayden. I was just like, what in the world? And then Hayden was like, you know, I heard this was a great spot to play ball at. And he was like, exactly, I cannot do this. I cannot do this. It was like, he got Aaron on one side. He got Hayden on one side. So next thing you know, there's Hayden and Zach are going back and forth. And he was like, listen, you really acting like a Karen. And then you hear Aaron behind, come behind out of nowhere. What you say about Karen? Nobody was talking about her. Nobody was talking about you. Like, listen, stay over there. I don't even like you like that. Like, just poof, be gone. So Hayden and Zach are going back and forth at it again. And Hayden was like, listen, I'm really going to lock you up. Like, you're going to go away for a while. Like, yeah, uh-huh. And Zach was like, that may or might, that may or might not happen, but whatever the case might be, it's not going to be because of you. So they're still going back and forth at it again. And then Aaron comes in to break it up. And then eventually Hayden leaves. And Aaron wants to talk to Zach. And like, listen, I'm not your... Enemy, I want us to be cordial. I want us to be on the best of terms. And I want us to be cool if this is your baby or whatever the kids be. He's like, listen, I don't want to hear nothing about that baby word. Like, listen, this is just stressing me out. I ain't got time for this. I don't want to hear it. Not a zip, shush, zoop, whatever. And Zach was like, listen, every time I see you, I don't like you. But the thing is, I like you. And then it got to the point where Zach just leaves and... Aaron yelled to him, like, when are you going to let this this love in? And you always see Zach running to the corner, like, oh, my gosh. I was like, what in the world? So we get back to Kara's house, and Andy finally comes in. Mind you, you got Danny and Karen talking all about Andy's business because Danny done chatted up, telling Karen what she done miss. It's been like she was missing for two weeks or so, like, all this tea she ain't know about, but she got filled in. So eventually, um, Karen and, and Danny, they sit up and you see Andy sitting between them. And she was like, oh, so y'all got my business going out here. So your next thing you know, Andy, being how they are, petty towards one another, tells Karen about what happened to Danny. And you can see that Danny's face like, dang, that was a low blow. You didn't even have to go that far. But, you know, eventually she talked it out. And then Danny was like, listen, with my girl Fatima, once Danny said Fatima, Karen though flinched and sat up and got stiff like, 
I don't even know why she mad at the girl. Like, you know she a cool female. Like, let the chick be. You know she's part of that sister circle. She's a part of the sister circle. Because, look, she done got two for two of your girls, okay? In cahoots with her. That's how you know she a cool female, okay? Let it go, Karen. Let the hurt go. Let it go. Let it go. Fatima's that girl. She can help you out, too. Like, let her in. Like, you don't got to be so hard towards a girl. You barely even know her. But before you knew that she was messing with Zach, she was, y'all was like this buddy buddy at the restaurant, remember? And when you got, you did her hair for her. Mm hmm Yeah, make that make sense. Yeah, whatever. So, after that, um, Danny tried to switch the subject. Like, listen, I probably got pressed to wait on me. And he was like, yeah, I gotta go too. And Karen was not trying to hear it. But eventually, they said they peace and they dipped on out. Cause they got some business to him. Yeah, I can't wait to see Preston again. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. Okay, so Andy and Danny leave Karen house and Andy drops Danny off at her house. And we get to see Preston. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was just a sight for sore eyes. Like, so basically, um Danny and Preston they talk. And basically, Preston reassures her, like, listen, I'm a big boy. Just tell me how I can love you the right way, what you want, and stuff like that. And Danny was like, it's kind of complicated. But eventually, she came to the conclusion to let him upstairs. So they hold hands. They go upstairs. Oh, yes. Um, um Karen calls Pam at the shop to make sure she turned everything off and stuff like that and while she's doing so there was a male in the background that said something and karen wants to do a, f a video call to facetime to see if there's anybody in the shop and if Cam tried, pam tried to reassure her like listen there's nobody here i turned everything off and that's just what it is and i put every locked everything up so as they cut the light off and go out the the store. It pans over to a curling iron that was left on. I hope and pray that nothing happens to the shop. So after that, um, Karen she's packing up her stuff so she can go to check to the shop. Cause I guess her intuition is telling her like, listen, I don't trust Pam, and you know, and this right right for the moment, I kind of think that. She should have just stuck with her intuition and just went. But then again, at the same time, Aaron comes in and then tries to tell her, like, listen, you just need to rest. And, you know, you can trust Pam that she's going to do what she say. Eventually, Karen reluctantly took Aaron's advice and went to the room. And he post, she posted her gave him the code so that he could go check on the shop himself. <laughs> and, yeah, that's that. So, after that, Andy finally gets home. And... She was waiting on Gary to be butt naked or whatever the case may be. But he's still in his ball clothes. And she was like, you're supposed to be naked. You do everything I said. Next thing you know about that. Pans over. Boom. I was not expecting this. Gary and Robin in the same space at the same time. Like, kind of like at the office. And all you see is Andy is shocked. Like, what in the world did I just walk in on to? Yeah, so next week's episode, episode 11, we see that whatever Robin said at the moment, Gary and Andy must have had a night because he was still there. Um, You see Zach talking to a lawyer to figure out how much will these child support payments be because apparently... Heather going to try to come for a lot. Like, she know he got that money, so she trying to get rich without having to do a lot of work. She said, my stripper days are over. I'm about to get paid. Also, the prosecutor is trying to put Maurice against Sabrina. And once Maurice saw that, he was like, nah, I'm good. You can, I'm good. And then you see Q saying something to Calvin. All you see is Calvin with his dad's golf clothes just <laughs> knocking him out with the dress. It was like, 
Calvin done had enough first. You don't got his girl put away. You don't got his roommate, homie put away. Like, listen, I'm tired of you. You don't broke in after the change the locks. Like, listen, I am tired of you. Like, what's it going to take? He's like a roach that will never go away. Like, come on. Like, you stomp him. You think he dead? No, he got nine lives like a cat. Like, come on now. Like, oh, my gosh. This is a good episode. I can't wait till next week's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this recap. Hopefully, it wasn't too long for you guys. And, you know, if y'all watch like I do every Wednesday, y'all be up on the T, okay? So, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this recap of episode 10, Discretion is Key. And I'll see y'all next week's episode. Bye.